Personal readings are available in the description box below. Please read before you purchase. I only answer one question reading. It's all down there. Okay, overwork, too tired, or what? What is this? Um, you keep saying yes, so you're a people pleaser for sure at your own expense. Um, you are about to have a big argument with <laughs> whoever you're dating. <laughs> oh, I feel like someone triggered you out of nowhere. You know, you, you, ten of ones, like I'm doing this, I'm doing that. And then they didn't appreciate, your, you felt like you were not appreciated with what you're already giving, right? That's a very sad thing. Um, there's a lack of sensitivity coming from your person, a lack of appreciation. You've done so much for this person and yet they're not happy. Like they expected more, okay? Because that's a queen of cups right here with the five of swords. Okay, Sag, we are starting. Okay. Um, Ten of wands is a card of, let's dissect this or digest. Um, it's about bringing home the bacon. So you may be the one paying all the bills. Right? Ten of Wands. Okay? The Ten of Wands is a card of, it, you accumulate this because you said yes. You could have said no. You understand me? Some people has no problem saying no. And some people has, you know, has problems saying, you know, I mean like, you know, always just say yes. Does it make sense? And that's you. Yes. Yes, it's fine, it's fine. Ten of Wands. Until you reach a point, this is your this is the backbreaking point, you know. You see that? Okay, like what about me? Right? So you have this tendency to overcommit, depending where your moon is placed, all right? Because the moon is this part where you know you can you will give. It's a nurturing planet. So anywhere it is, you have you're weak actually on it. Okay, not unless you strengthen your moon, then you'll be able to say no. Because the moon will just get chewed by everyone. Because it doesn't know how to stop. It just wants to give. So you have that energy. Okay? You're ruled by Jupiter, though, okay? Now, five of swords. At least, you know, like someone appreciates you, texts you, calls you, acknowledges how much you're giving. But no, 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 no. Um, with the Five of Swords, I feel like you brought this to surface. Like, I've been doing things for you. I have done this. I've done that. Not that you're asking anything in return. You're just saying, it's like, listen, this relationship is getting tiring. I'm the only one picking up the weight. Okay. Queen of Cups, they expected this. Your person is quite, uh, quite a number. Um, I forgot what it's called. Um, entitled. There you go. So someone felt, felt entitled that... Well, isn't it like you said this, you said that, so I just, you know, I, I was just going with it. Mm -hmm. It can be an abusive relationship, Five of Swords with a Ten of Wands. Okay. Oh, they did say sorry, but you didn't like it. Hmm. Okay. Okay. And the plot thickens. More fights and more argument is here. Um, they said sorry, you ignore them. You said, it's like, yeah, it's fine, whatever. I don't want to discuss this right now. I'm busy. I have work. I have other priorities. Okay. So you somewhat Scorpio issue also because Scorpio got this. Six of Pentacles. And there's a death card, which is a Scorpio card. Okay. So right now, there is no amount of persuading for you to actually come back to them. Not unless, you know, your person basically expressed themselves and also puts in the time and effort. So for you, it's case closed. I have said what I said and this is where I stand, okay? Because you have a Six of Pentacles and a Death card. Um, close chapter. Don't text me. Don't call me. I don't even want to see you right now. Argument happens again. Can be with another Sag, okay? I'm seeing here right now that you lost your chill and your person is asking for the chill because you know people who are Sagittarius, they're very much like, you know, they're not an air sign, that's for sure, but they're chill. You know, if you ever met a Sag, they just go with the flow. Uh, they're the chillest, I feel. Okay. The Knight of Swords, with the, yeah, they're fun. They're fun. <laughs> no, high energy. Um, temperance with the Knight of Swords, they, they come to you over here wondering, it's just like, hey, what do you, what's going on? 
And for you, it's like, what I mean, what's going on? You know, last time you kind of hurt my feelings, Five of Swords. Not that you were being sens you were sensitive, they were being insensitive, okay? So it comes to you right away, Knight of Swords, and then tells you about like how much effort also they're putting. So they're not even apologetic, but they try to make it seem to you like, like I'm doing everything also. But then when you're looking at it, you feel like, really? I don't think so. Six of Pentacles, I didn't get much out of this relationship. It was one-sided. I was the one putting in the effort. Mm -hmm. So you, that's why you're in the death card. Now, if you are like, you know, there's, like some, there's something negative in your energy space and like you just want to get rid of it, like not your person, you can't get rid of this, I think so, but energetically, like it's weighing you down. You feel oppressed, you feel tired, exhausted, Ten of Wands. Um, what I use is an evil eye, Hamsa, evil eye, even eye and Hamsa. Um, tell me which one you're getting, okay? Um, it's in the description box below. We ship international. My favorite is the Hamsa one and then the evil eye, okay? But you tell me which one you got, okay? Um, especially like, with Saturn retrograde, right, you know, energy becomes a little bit of like a sluggish kind. It's hard. Mars Mars in Cancer, uh, debilitation, Saturn now slows things down. It's like every day is just a battle, okay? Which, that's what you're feeling right now. And for a Sag, this, that doesn't work. You don't want the sluggish energy. I want it now. Let's go. Let's do this. Your person is coming through with the Knight of Swords. They got something to tell you. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with Sag, I don't think you can win an argument because, you know, especially if you have Mula Nakshatra, they go down to the bottom of this, meaning, oh, you, if we're going to talk about facts, I'm just being truthful and honest over here, which is your sarcasm. Nobody appreciates that, but I appreciate it, of course, because you're just telling the truth, right? Your person will not agree with you. Ooh, okay. Magician of the devil, someone here is manipulating the situation. Okay. They are, not you. Nine of cups with the devil, they wish that you would open up. When I say manipulation, so magician with the devil, this can be someone who is manifesting not in a good way. Okay. Because the devil and magician, someone's doing something. Okay. I'm not going to go there. But this is, this can be an ex who's, you know, manifesting you in all different ways okay um magician because people get scared uh, magician and the devil they could just be reciting your name every day thinking about you and that's how they manifest they could be just obsessing about you and because the devil is obsession magician i need to have you i need to i want the sash i want the sash they want you okay oh and i forgot also no oh, no i haven't recorded for you um nine of cups over here with the four of pentacles i'm seeing here right now that your person wish that they can come to you, but you are definitely four of pentacles. I'm shutting down. Like, there's no business going on here. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Wow. Your person will manipulate you by saying, I thought you loved me. Okay? Because the two of cups is here. But this is also a person who's obsessing about wanting to be intimate with you or lovey-dovey with you, you know, like they miss the affection and the connection. But you're too busy, Queen of Pentacles with the King of Wands. I'm seeing here right now that your person um, has, you know, the more that you have um, taken a step back, the more that they desire this, okay? So you have a codependent person and a quite, I feel like, you know, I like the temperance comes before the devil which means like it can be resolved. I'm just saying, you know, okay? So if the devil comes first with a um, temperance, it's a different ball game. Okay. Star card. Mm -hmm. Someone believes in magic. The star card. Oh, someone has been praying. Hermit. Hermit, I always say, when someone isolates himself, normally they would try to pray, find answer, solution, I need to clear out my mind, like that. And then normally, you'll get some signs, symbol or synchronicity, or an answer. 
So if your person has uh, left before, okay, they left the connection, they got some sort of sign from the divine, okay, from God basically. They prayed, okay, and normally the star will come because you ask, you know, this is when a person's like, if the next car is color white, okay, but come on, all cars is <laughs> white. <laughs> if the next person who comes in in this coffee shop is wearing blue, they, you know, but it's like some sort of like a feather or I don't know, a music, a song, uh, a name, you know, like it keeps coming to them, to their attention, your name, for example, I don't know what's your name, but it it's there, it haunts them. Then they realize, that, okay, I know what to do. It can be Aqua, can be Virgo, can be Capricorn. Mm -hmm. I see. Be ready, Sag. Be very ready. Because the way I see this is your person has a very important message. Okay? And it's coming from the heart. Very important message. Coming very sincere. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. So they have been thinking about this for quite a while. <gasps> Oh, nice. About the relationship. Mmm. Pretty good. I like this. Mm hmm If you want to find out more about this reading and you're connecting with it, link in the description box below. I will continue it down there. I'll see you.